Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will show you how to create these cute little purses using 651 vinyl and my Cricut machine. I bought these cute little purses at Walmart for only a dollar and I plan to sell them and make a nice profit on them. Stick along to see how I created them. They are so cute and so easy to create. Now let's get started. So I had some really great ideas from everyone. They said animal faces or ice cream cones or unicorns. So I unfortunately only have five little purses. So I'm gonna do five different uh, faces on here. So I found these ones, I wanted to show you really quick. I'm starting in design space. I found these ones in design space and I'll show you how I did that, finding different ones. So I went to the upload button here and I went to the view all button and then I unclick this one because I did not upload any of these. And I went up here and I clicked on this one, the Cricut Access. If you don't have the Cricut Access, you're not going to get all these for free. I paid for the yearly access, so I have access to every one of these free ones. Actually, this one's really cute. Um, but I'm looking for unicorn. So I'm just going to type in unicorn. And you could do this on Google as well and type in Unicorn SVG and you could probably find quite a few on there. But just because I have the access, I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm actually just looking for the unicorn face. Like I saw these, these are really cute. I like this, um, but I was looking for something different. But this is what I'm looking for is that kind of face. So I'm just going to scroll down really quick and see if I can find what I'm looking for and you don't have to use the specific things that I'm using I'm just showing you which ones I like like I really like these but still not what I'm looking for I saw something before and I wanted to show you guys like this one's really cute so I'm going to click on that one but there was a, a few different ones that I saw yeah this one I really liked I thought that was cute and then maybe this one and that one. Not as many as I wanted to pick, but I'm gonna choose those ones. And then before I go ahead and click insert image, I'm gonna X out of this and actually look for ice cream and see what comes up. Because somebody also said an ice cream cone with you know putting the words ice cream money on it would be really cute for kids. So I'm just gonna find a few different ice cream cones here that might work for me. Um, and I'm just looking for different colored ones, different layered ones maybe, so I'm going to pick these two. So I'm going to insert all of those images and we'll see what we got. So it comes in one big cluster, so I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit so I don't have to shrink them individually. I'm going to click away and then I'll have each one here. So I'll move these all so we can see what they look like. I'll put these two together and put these guys. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are so cute. So the only thing really you have to do or that I have to do for this is just change the size of these. I want to keep these top ones the same color. I think I'm only going to pick one or two of the top ones and then one of these and then maybe one of those. But I was looking with the cat. This cat looks so cute, but it has no eyes. And the only way that I know how to do the eyes, unfortunately, you can't draw something in Design Space. Maybe I hope that they do that one day. I just am going to go to Shape. And I'm going to click circle and then I'm going to go up and duplicate that circle and I'm going to kind of use the slice button to my advantage. So I'm going to put this one over top this other circle and it looks pretty centered but I'm going to grab both of them go to a range whoops go to a line and click center and that will put it directly in the center for me. So with them both selected I'm going to click slice and I'm going to get rid of my original ones and I get rid of the top one. So here I have sort of a, you know, one of those closed eyes kind of thing. <laughs> it looks kind of cute. So before I duplicate it, I'm going to change the size really quick because I want them to be the exact same size. So I'm going to bring it over here. Oops, still too big. And shrink it down a little bit. But doesn't that look a little bit better? I mean, it gives it an eye. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click the duplicate button. And it's going to give me another one, the same exact size. So I don't have to resize it. And that looks really cute together. I mean, you could do this, you don't have to, but I just figured I'm gonna show you how I do it. So since it is technically three different pieces, the face and then the two eyes separately, I'm gonna select all three pieces 
go down here to the detach button and then I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So I select all of them. It, I had to push the detach button because it was already the eyes and the, the face was already attached to each other that I had done previously. So now I'm going to attach everything together. So now as you can see, I can't click on the eyes, so everything is attached. So I love how this looks. I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, could be a bunny too, kind of, maybe? Not long enough ears, right? So anyways, so that was the last part to this. I'm going to just leave it black, and then any of these, I'm just going to leave the same color. So I'm kind of curious to work on these guys. I appreciate everybody's comments on telling me what I could do for this, because this was the cutest, the ice cream cone, and then also writing underneath it, ice cream money. I thought that'd be really cute if you have little kids and they make like an allowance or something, they can go to the ice cream store in the summer and pay for their own ice cream. I know my kids would love that. So... I know that this is, I believe it's three different parts. Yeah, so you can see on this side here, these two are blacked out. So they are, you're not even going to see these. So there are three parts to this, which is really cool because it'll be easy to put together. And I believe this is the same here. So yep, there's three pieces here. One, two, three, because this one is just blacked out. We don't need that piece. So the only thing I want to do for these guys is actually write ice cream money on it. So I'm going to go to the text box and I'm going to write ice cream money. I forgot the why. <laughs> there we go. So here it is, ice cream money. So the way I want to do it is I want the money to go down below. So I'm going to double click on it, go in here, and put the money down here below. So I like things to be centered. So with it selected, I'm going to go to the alignment and I'm going to center it right away. Okay, so another thing I want to do before I finish this is I want to change the font of this. And then I also don't like how far down the next word is from the top so I'm going to change that too but I'm going to change the font really quick so I'm going to go up to the font box and I'm going to find a font that I really like and there was one that I was looking at yesterday let's see if I can find it Oh, it's this one, Cutting Up Holy Cow. So you can see it has an A here. The green A means that I get that for free. Normally, you would have to pay $4.99 for this, but because I have the Cricut Access, I don't have to pay for this. But look at how this one looks. Isn't that cute? Just for some reason, it really stood out at me that it has a little holes in it. I don't know. It just makes me remind me of ice cream for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> so the other thing was is the part in between here really drives me nuts how much spacing is in here. So you can do this one of two ways. You can have it selected already and then you can go up to the line spacing up here and then you can just push the down arrow a bunch of times. Or the other way you can do it is with it selected go to the ungroup button and then take whatever word you want and select it and then just use your mouse to go up a little bit. That might be the easiest way. And then I like to do is select it all again and then attach it because otherwise it would cut out each word individually and I don't want that. So this is done for now. I think I'm going to change the color on it, but just for the time being, I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to make two of these. I think that was the cutest idea. So thank you whoever said that. So I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm actually going to make two of these ice cream ones. I love both of these ice creams. Okay, so the last thing you're going to want to do is figure out the size of your little purses. My little purse that I bought from the uh, Walmart for a dollar is approximately four by four. So if you guys know me and watch my channel, I like to visualize things rather than kind of estimate how big it should be. So I'm going to go to the shapes here and I'm going to select a circle. So I know mine is about four by four. It's a little bit bigger than a four by four, but I'm just going to change it to be a four by four. And then this way I can visualize what it's going to look like inside of there rather than trying to estimate how big to do this. So I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit and pull it over. And oh, it didn't go away. It's still there, guys. Don't get scared. So I have it selected. I'm going to go to the arrange button. I'm going to send to front. So there it is. So this is going to do the same thing. It's going to go right behind it go do the same thing, arrange, and then send to front. So this way, you see what I mean? We can visualize to see what it looks like rather than saying, okay, well, this needs to be a 0 0.29, 0 0.923 by 1.653. <laughs> it's kind of hard telling unless you really visualize to see what it would look like. So I'm actually going to unlock this and make this just a little bit bigger. I'm trying to stretch it to make it as large as I can. And then it I don't know if I don't want to skew this up too much, but there. You see what I mean? Now we can see what it looks like. So when I cut this out and go to put this on, I know that it's going to fit my 
area. And it doesn't matter if it's centered here right now right here or not because we're going to deal with that when we put it on our uh, purse itself so as long as you can see that it's going to fit like if I move this over a little bit more I can see that I have room on both sides and I know my circle is a little bit larger than that so this one is great and unfortunately I only have one circle one the rest are hearts so I'm going to do the same thing go back here to the shapes and then click on a heart and then change it to be the four by four because it's the same size. Whoops, I should have changed it to be four by four, but it didn't. So we're going to unlock it and manually change it to be four. So here it is. And I'm going to look at mine. And it's a different heart than mine. So this one that I'm looking at right now is a little bit wider. So I'm just going to take it and make it just a little bit wider. Again, it's just to visualize it, just to see what it looks like. And my heart is not it's like right here where it starts. So I need to think about that when I'm putting this on. But I think I wanna do another ice cream money one. I think that is just so darn cute. So if you wanna continue seeing how I do this, you can stick along. Otherwise you can skip ahead and see how I put this on. But I'm just gonna finish this up really quick. I have five of them already, but I really like these ones. But I wanted to show you guys one of these really quick. So I think I'm actually going to choose, I love this rose one, I think that's beautiful. I think this one is really neat too. I think kids would like this one better. So I'm going to actually try this one and I'm going to put it on the heart because I only have so many. So I'm going to take it, arrange, send to front. And remember I said I have the heart starts up here a little bit. So, but I think I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit to be sure that it's still going to fit on there. So this one obviously is going to cut out different colors. So I'm going to have this pink here, the purple and then the black for the eyes. But one thing I like to do when I have multiple colors is actually put them together so I don't always have to guesstimate where they go. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna hit the ungroup button here and that's gonna ungroup each piece for me, which it looks like, holy cow, that's awesome. So this one actually did it for us already. So you can see over here, it's already had, it already has all the pieces together. That's exactly what I was gonna do. So whoever made this, thank you, I love it. This file is awesome. So I did not have to ungroup that button. So it's gonna cut everything out just the way you see it. So I can show you, cause I know it's the right size already. So the pink are together, the purple are gonna be together. And then, so that's exactly what I was gonna do, but they already did it for me. So that is great. Doesn't matter that I already messed it up because it's gonna cut out separately anyway. So I'm gonna get rid of these ones that we're not gonna use because I don't want this to think, I don't want Cricut to think that I'm going to be cutting it out. So I'm gonna get rid of these. And, oh shoot, unfortunately, I only have four bags. So I'm gonna have to choose, and I really love these ice cream ones. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of Oh, I don't know guys which one. Um, oh, I'll have to go buy some more. I think I'm gonna get rid of this dog one and then I'm just gonna use these ones. One thing before I finish up is I'm looking at this and I, I wanna have a different color. So I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe a pink color or a white color for this. So I'm gonna select this, go up to the color box and I'm gonna see what white looks like really quick and kind of like think what it would look like on my purse. Kind of like that, that it's, just white. So I'm going to change this one to be white as well. You can change this to be any color you want. You can change the color of the ice cream if you want. It doesn't matter because once you put it on your mat, it's whatever color you put on your mat. So, all right, so now it's finished the way I want it. All these pieces are going to cut out separately. I like how this is white. I'm going to go ahead and click make it. And I'm going to show you what they look like. So these, I'm just going to separate a little bit. I like to have a little space in between so I can cut them. That is so cute. I love it. Okay, so this I want to be the same color as this one and I want it to cut out in the same one. So this might be a trick you guys know or you don't know, maybe I'll teach you something. But once you're on this page, you can click these three little dots and you can either move object or you can hide the selected object. So I'm gonna move it. I want it to go on this one. So you can either select it and change it to a different mat that you're already cutting out or you can choose a new color. So I want it on this one. So I'm gonna put it right on this one. And I'm going to move it over here so that all three of these pieces will cut out the same color black. And then this one's just going to be empty. And then we've got the ears here, the ice cream cone, part of the unicorn face, the other parts of the ice cream cone, the unicorn. I think the rest of these, oh, no, that's the ice cream, unicorn, 
and then the cherries oh my gosh that is so cute so I'm gonna go to continue because I know I like it the way that it is and I'm gonna show you which one uh, which setting I like to use okay so here are the base materials that I always like to use if you are new to my channel um, you should know that I don't use a lot of Cricut materials or supplies so I always just use this stencil vinyl here and I don't know if it's because my blade is dull and I have to replace it, but I always go to the more button. It just seems to cut it out better where I can pull it off the mat easier. So that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and do all these colors. Hopefully I have them all. <laughs> um, but I will cut this out and I'll wait it out. And then I'll show you what each piece looks like after I'm finished. But I'm really excited to show you guys how to put this on these bags. And I cannot wait to see what they look like. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so I finished weeding out my files. Here's the one that says ice cream money and then here's the ice cream cone the little tiny cherries which is so cute and then the actual cone itself I should say ice cream not the cone so that's just how it turned out and then I got a bunch of pieces for the unicorn so we're gonna put those together and then here are the bags that I was asking everybody for help with to figure out what to do so I did do these ones I went a little bit ahead and did these to make sure that this would stick HTV would stick on here and it definitely does so here's the panda bear I love how this one turned out and then I did the cat one as well. Um, the eyes weren't so big, so I either might leave it the way it is or go back in and make the eyes a little bit thicker because I did those myself just because I think it's kind of weird looking that it doesn't have any eyes on it. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So then you're gonna wanna take some alcohol and a pad and just put some alcohol in, not a lot, and then clean your surface really well. I already did this, so it would be dry by the time I would put this on. So the next part you're gonna wanna do is just start with your file. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of transfer tape off of this. I just buy the cheap transfer tape from um, the dollar store. Or you can buy the stuff that I normally use on Amazon. But just for this project, I'm just going to use the cheaper kind. So you're just going to want to take your edge and pull it off. Sometimes these can be kind of difficult to work with. Here we go. So now just take your transfer tape and put it over your wording. And then just use your squeegee push on it really hard to make sure you got everything that's going to stick on there. So it's just like this. And I'm sorry, it's white so you really can't see it. But then I like to work backwards to make sure my things don't come off like this. It didn't come off. So I'm having troubles with this one. Here we go. It's because it's white so it's hard for me to see. I knew something was missing on there. There we go. So now you can maybe see ice cream money. So I think I'm going to put this on this pink one here. Like I said, clean it off really well with alcohol first. And then take it and put it where you want it to go. I'm trying to just match it up on each side. And to make sure that it's straight with each corner. So this part is a little tricky. Um, you want to first just rub it really well with your fingers. I think the warmth of your finger and pushing down on the transfer tape helps a little bit. You could also take your squeegee and push on it. But there's not much to this bag. Um, the other way I did it was also stick my hand in here and kind of give it a little bit extra support before I pull off the transfer tape. But once you think you got it on really well, you can go ahead and pull the transfer tape off. And if it sticks on you, you can just kind of hold it down as you go. A um, couple things here, uh, I found out that when I work with wood signs and the tra and the vinyl doesn't want to stick to it, I just use a hair dryer and then I put it on low and I take it off the heat and I put it on and that seems to really help. So if this doesn't stick right away, which it seems to be sticking really nicely right now, you could always take a, a hair dryer on low and on not hot heat, on cool heat and put it on here. It will help adhere to the bag itself. So if you have any issues with that, that could be a tip for you. But you want to make sure your your container, your thing that you're working with is clean. My concern is just the eye right here that it's kind of looks like it's coming off, but it looks okay. So that is the first part. So then I want to take my ice cream cone, and that's three parts. So you got the bottom part, the ice cream part, and then the cherries as well. So this you have to layer this. So I'm just going to take this off. I'm not going to use transfer tape just because it's one whole piece. And I'm just going to layer it on top of that other piece. I don't want any of that cone color to come through. But I'm just layering it like that. And then we just have to add the cherry at the top there. So this one actually might take my little weeding tool since it's so small. Get it on there. 
And then I don't know if you can see it well, but there is a line right there. So you got to kind of match it up with that line. Just like that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I'm actually going to cut these apart since I only want to use one of them right now. And then take my transfer tape that I just used and do the same thing. Just rub it on there really well. And I got the layers on there, so I like to flip it. And now you should just see the one color on the back. Just like that. So I'm going to want to take it and just put it on here wherever you want. I'm going to put it, try to put it right in the middle, kind of center it. See if it looks okay before I push it down. There. And then again, just use your fingers and push really hard. This is just a little bit more difficult because it's not much underneath it. So I'm just trying to let some of my warmth of my hand go on it so it would help peel it up. And then you just peel your transfer tape back. And that is it. Ice cream money. So whoever gave me this idea, thank you so much. That was a really good idea. I really love how this turned out. If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. I like how this turned out. If you have any other ideas, let me know. I know there was animals, unicorn, which I'm going to be doing next, um, and then the ice cream. So I'm going to continue with the unicorn here. So the first one I'm going to want to do is this big one with the ears here, and then just kind of match up to figure out where I want to have it. So it's kind of long here so you got to look where it is here so i'm going to take this and use my same transfer tape that i used the last couple times and then just scrape really well there we go perfect oh or i have this pink one hmm i think i might put this on the pink one and then save this one for the other ice cream cone you can see it better this way anyway. So I'm lining it up in the middle right here with the heart piece so I can know it's completely in the center. Even though I put it like that, it still looks like it's off a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so I have it completely in the center. Just do the same thing. You can use your scraper if you want, use your hands, but whatever you need to do just to make that stick on there really well. And then peel back. Wow, this one sticks a lot better. Oh, wow. So I don't think it liked the material on here. It definitely is. This blue is um, a lot more coarse. So I'm thinking that this pink one was a lot better because this other panda bear one went on really well too. So maybe if you buy these, maybe buy the more, the softer ones. Like this one wasn't, this one, I don't know if you can see, it kind of has like a... Um, pattern to the back of it so always watch that when you can so here's the first part and I think the next one I'm going to do is these ears and when I cut it out it cut out as one piece so I'm not gonna take them off I'm just gonna use the transfer tape again now if you get a shot here we go and do the same thing just get it on here really well peel it back and then layer it so we'll just try to find the center here Oh yeah, that definitely peels off a lot easier. So there's the first part with the ears. So I think the next part I'm gonna do is put the eyes on. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, transfer tape. Sorry, if you guys know how to do this, please feel free to skip forward to see what it looks like in the end. But for those of you who don't know, I'm just gonna show you really quick. So then I'm just gonna take it and line it up. All right, so I jumped the gun on this. I should have done the flowers first. So I'm gonna take another piece of transfer tape. You guys know I'm always honest with you. If I make a mistake, I don't want you to make the same mistake I do. So I'm gonna cut another piece of transfer tape off so that I can work with the flowers. And then we'll do the eyes because I'm looking at the picture of the piece that's already finished from Design Space. And it looks like the flowers are definitely on first. So there's pink ones here that I have to do, and then there's also purple ones. So I'm going to start with the pink ones here, and it looks like it's going up and down like this, so that's the way I'm going to do it. So again, same thing, take your transfer tape, and then peel back. I'm sorry, you can hear my dog's feet tapping in the background. So then it looks like it goes on a curve, so it fits perfectly in here like that. So you see there was a little hole here, so it definitely 
fits right in the middle there perfectly. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and push really hard. And if it comes up, you can just push it some more. But once you let this sit, I think for like 24 hours, it really adheres to it if you're using the permanent vinyl. So I'll let it sit for a couple of days before I give it away or try to sell it. So here's the first part, and then I have to work with the purple ones. Last part is just to do the eyes now, or the eyelashes. I think those are so cute. And then let's just go right there. Again, anything I do is always homemade, handmade, so it's never going to be perfect like you would buy at the store, which I really love doing homemade and handmade items because it's never going to be perfect. So even though there might be a gap here or it's not overlapping the proper way there, it's homemade. So you're not going to ever get anything that's perfect. But I really love how these turned out. Um, Here's the ice cream money one. I really love that. Thank you again, whoever said that. That's a really good idea. And here was the panda bear one. And then also the cat one. Which ones do you guys like the best? I think I really like either the ice cream money or the panda one. I think that one looks really awesome. So I have this last ice cream one. I'm going to give it a try. We're going to see if it'll stick to it with the texture. It doesn't seem to like it too much, but... I'm going to try it, but give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and happy crafting, everyone. I really love how these turned out. I bought them for a dollar at Walmart, and I plan to sell them at our local craft store for $6 and make a nice profit on them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you create your own little purses. Happy crafting, everyone. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I would love a thumbs up on this tutorial if you enjoyed it.